Welcome to this video on getting started with Onshape. What we're going to do is we're going to start a new document. I'm going to click on Create, and we're going to choose Document. And where it says Untitled Document, we're going to take that out and type over that. We'll call this First Onshape. And click OK. All right, so now we're in, we'll go ahead and get started. On the front plane. So I'm just gonna click on this front plane and I can either hit the sketch button over here or I can right click and say new sketch. Either one does the same thing. So we'll make a sketch. It's called sketch one. And I'm not gonna hit this green check mark until I'm finished with it. Okay, that's sort of the, the close everything and continue and make it do the thing, whether it's extrude or draw a sketch or what have you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rename this though with the pencil and call this um, front sketch just to show that you can change the names. I'm going to go ahead and look at that sketch and it's here, it's active and I want to, it's not active. I guess I clicked, clicked the green check mark. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle here and you can see the size dimensions and I don't care what size it is right now. I'm going to come back and use the dimension tool, which is this one right here. I'm going to make this two inches tall and I'm going to make this two inches wide. It's with that tool. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. And I'm going to go back and look at this at the, the home view. I want to see this in some sort of a 3D kind of a view because I want to be able to see the preview when I go to extrude this. And again, I can change this and I'll call this uh, the cube. So you can change the name of your extrusion and it's going to ask you for a profile. I'm going to click this profile and it's showing me a one inch preview for the th depth. I'm going to make it two inches. <clears throat> the arrow indicates the direction. I could go in the other direction, have it go back the other way. For this cube, it really doesn't matter. And finish that with a green check mark. At this point, um, you've gone ahead and drawn a cube. The zoom bar, is that letting me see everything here? I need to make sure that this is saved. Okay, it's automatically saved it. I click on it and go back into it. Um, and then let's see, I'm gonna put a hole in the front of it. I'm gonna choose that surface, make another sketch, look at it straight on. And this time I'm gonna put a circle in here. Okay, and I need three pieces of information to get this thing located. I need to know how far it is either from the right or left edge to the center how far from the bottom or the top to the center. And then lastly, I need to know the diameter. So I'm gonna use a dimension tool to put that in. To go from that edge to the center there. Let's make that one inch, center the thing up. And we'll go maybe from the top to the center. And make that one inch. And then lastly, we need to know what size is the circle gonna be. And let's make that also one inch. Easy enough, right? And then finish this sketch. And then again, I want to look at it as a 3D before I get into the extrude command because I want to see the preview. If I'm looking at it straight on and I get into the extrude command, I can't see the preview. I won't be able to know what's happening. So go ahead and get an extrude. And this time I want to figure out how to make it cut the material away. I don't want to have the cylinder extend out. I do know that I want a distance of two. I want it to go all the way through. Um, but let's see if we can just grab that and switch that the other way. And again, change that to two. And we're going to remove material instead of add material. So remove makes the hole. We do that. Now you can see when you look at it from different viewing angles that you've got a hole that runs all the way through. And then back to my home original view. 